Yum, yum. William Vaughn here with a quick introduction to geometry constraints in Modo. Geometry position constraints enable you to attach an item's center to a vertex, edge, or polygon's position on another mesh item. In this example, let's attach a button mesh to the leather pouch of this character. Start by selecting the item you want constrained, followed by the item you want to constrain to. Click the Vertex Position button and choose the vertex you want to constrain to in the Index A input field. By default, Moto uses the component index that is closest to the center of the item being constrained. For vertices and polygons, the constraint uses the component index to get the position information. For edges, index A is the index of the first vertex that defines the edge. Index B is used only for edges. It specifies the second vertex to use for the edge. This can be any vertex in the same mesh as the vertices do not need to be connected. If we want to automatically orient the mesh item, we can use a geometry normal constraint. Geometry normal constraints matches an item's orientation to that of a specified component's normal direction. Once constrained, the mesh item will stick to the target mesh even when it's being deformed. This can be incredibly useful when animating clothing with soft bodies and attaching rigid mesh items like buttons. Oh, look at the time.